ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्णा टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द साइंस ऑफ द सोल since time immemorial there is a discussion there is a research going on what is life is life just a mixture of chemicals or something else so today we will discuss just like a old man is dead and his son is crying oh he has gone he has gone but who has gone the body whom he is claiming his father he is lying in front of him but at the ta- at the time the son is crying he has gone he has gone but who has gone in india if they ask uh, they immediately people re- reply the soul has gone something in the from the body that's why the body is dead so uh, all these years that son is thinking that body is his father but at the time of death even though the body is lying in front of him he is crying he has gone so at the time of death he is come to coming to the realization that not this body is his father but something else is his father like so in modern science the scientists they say oh life is just a mixture of chemicals uh, some chemicals are mix- missing that's why they are dead he is dead but uh, if if it is true that the only chemicals are missing then you uh, inject the missing chemicals and bring him back to the life but it never happened and it will never happen because life is just not a mixture of chemicals so from the uh, view point of bhagavad gita uh, like a, a example is given that uh, car is there and car driver is there just like there is a difference between the car and the car driver in the same way the body is there the soul is there so there is a difference between the soul and the body uh, in in the example of the car and the driver suppose if the car break, uh, ca- without the driver the car can never move but the driver cannot say without the car i cannot move so however nice car it may be but if, without the driver the car cannot move in the same way the body is there and soul is there as long as soul is there uh, in the body uh, the body moves around it is called as uh, alive but as soon as the soul leaves the body the body is proclaimed as dead but actually the body is dead all the time only when the soul uh, is present it makes looks like alive so we have to understand that uh, <laughs> there is a difference between the soul and the body but uh, the soul cannot be seen that is why many people they claim that, uh, that we don't believe in the existence of the soul but the, the mystery is never solved that uh, why person dies if it is actually if it is fact that uh, life is only a mixture of chemicals then the, so many chemicals are there uh, you just mix the chemicals and mix uh, make, make the body again alive but it is it's, it, it did not happen so in canada uh, in uh, some famous scientists they wanted to find out what happens at the time of death why somebody dies yeah. so they had a curiosity and uh, in a very famous hospital uh, well equipped with all the equi- uh, equipments uh, research tools and all and uh, they kept uh, a dying person in a room uh, and then it was completely sealed completely locked all the windows and all the doors and everything and uh, uh, the persons the expert people they are actually <laughs> standing there uh, with uh, very high quality uh, <laughs> microscopes to see what happens at the time of why what like that so they wanted to see so what leaves the body at the time of death so they were uh, observing but uh, the person 
uh, is dead, but uh, they could not capture anything uh, in their microscopes, uh, because uh, uh, it is a mystery for them, uh, because uh, they do not know. So, uh, because uh, they say that uh, unless we see something with our own eyes, uh, we do not want to uh, accept it, uh, but uh, they do not have the equipment uh, powerful enough to see the uh, presence of the soul in the heart of a person. But, but uh, the fact that uh, something leaves the body, you know, uh, because of whose presence the body is proclaimed alive or without, without, because of whose absence the pro body is proclaimed dead. So, that mystery is there. So, we have to find out that. So, uh, sometimes not only uh, through the science uh, by seeing and through experiments or through the uh, equipment, you know, uh, we can establish something, but uh, sometimes we can use the logic also. So, that logic is presented uh, in Bhagavad Gita that uh, there is something in the body which is actually anti material particle, we know which cannot be uh, seen uh, by ordinary eyes. So, because of whose presence uh, the body uh, is proclaimed alive. So, that is in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says in second chapter, Dehi no smin yata dehe kaumaram yavanam jara tata dehantra prapti dhirastatra na muhyati. Um, Krishna says that uh, embodied spirit soul uh, passes from childhood body to youthful body to old body. In the same way, the soul passes into another body. Uh, one who is sober is not disturbed by this. So, uh, the, uh, the existence of the soul uh, is uh, <coughs> described in all the scriptures, uh, Bible, Quran and especially uh, Bhagavad Gita as it is. So, Lord Krishna uh, exclusively spoke on the science of the soul in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. So, uh, we can we have to understand that uh, what is the nature of the soul and uh, you know what, what, what is the dimension of the soul uh, all these things. Uh, just like uh, um, just like the as long as the soul is uh, present in this body, uh, the body has uh, value. Uh, just like uh, the scientists they claim that life is a mixture of chemicals. Uh, like uh, they wanted to produce life in the uh, laboratory uh, by mixing chemicals. Srila Prabhupada uh, gave an example that uh, just like um, when the dog is barking on the uh, street, uh, nobody gives him money. But if a famous uh, artist like uh, um, Johnny Lever or some mimicry artist, if they come to the uh, uh, some auditorium and they bark like dogs, uh, everybody pays money and hears them. Like that Srila Prabhupada gave this example that uh, God is producing uh, life already uh, in, uh, in the nature's laboratory, but uh, nobody is giving him Nobel Prize. But uh, these scientists they want to produce life in the laboratory by mixing chemicals. They, they want to be, uh, give Nobel Prize to the, uh, the scientists, uh, which is very contradictory. So, uh, so the, the in our body, there are certain chemicals present, just like calcium, potassium, sodium, nitrogen, oxygen, all these phosphorus and all these chemicals. Uh, the, by now, the scientists have uh, exactly found out what is the exact percentage of chemicals that are uh, present in our body. So, according to their uh, calculation, uh, do you know what is the value of our body? Can anybody guess? You know, it is actually just uh, uh, 225 rupees only. But uh, in, uh, in a, like once I asked one person uh, that uh, suppose, uh, your friend is travelling in a uh, very expensive uh, Mercedes Benz car, which is uh, costing around 35 lakh rupees. So, he is driving the car and uh, he met with an accident. Then I asked him, 
if you come to know that uh, your friend met with an accident in the car you will save the car first or the uh, driver he replied the driver then i said you are a very bad businessman because uh, uh, mercedes benz car is costing 35 lakh rupees your friend's body is costing only 225 rupees so it is a bad bargain why you want to uh, save your friend first oh he said no the car you know we can uh, always uh, purchase one more but my friend is very valuable to me because uh, if he dies we cannot bring him back so that shows that uh, actually uh, 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 this uh, this body is not just a bag of chemicals just like uh, uh, once uh, this example is given suppose a very <coughs> a very rich man purchases a bag of uh, uranium which is costing crores of rupees and uh, you you see him uh, throwing that bag of uranium into the ocean and you ask him sir why are you throwing such a very expensive chemicals uh, in the ocean and then he will reply oh uh, it is my bag of chemicals i will do whatever i want why do you care next day you see him throwing his 6 year old boy son into the ocean then you ask him sir why are you throwing uh, in the ocean your son then he will reply according to modern science my son is also a bag of chemicals i will throw it is my bag of chemicals why do you care then you will you will you will say i will report to the police you have to care you know because there is a difference between a bag of expensive chemical uranium and the uh, so called body of of your body uh, son which is consisting of bag of chemicals but uh, in that bag of chemicals there is a soul so which is more valuable the body or the soul so we have to reply as per the example the soul is more valuable as long as this body uh, uh, has the, as long as the soul is present in this body uh, there is a value to this body but when the soul leaves the body this body has no value just like suppose when uh, uh, a person is alive uh, even though is just a bag of chemicals as as per the claims of scientists we care for him we feed him uh, just like the sons and daughters they uh, hug him they play with him the wife in the intimately uh, she touches him and all but the same persons when the same uh, when the when that person dies you know they don't even like to uh, touch him and if somebody touches that body so you know, dead body you know we have to um, take bath the same wife who is intimately touching that body she will say oh uh, by evening uh, you know we have to get rid of this body so what is this happening you know because the as long as the soul is present in this body this body has value otherwise this body has no value at all uh, so uh, so it it will be disposed of uh, either in the fire or they dug a earth and uh, you know they bury him or uh, parsis they throw the body to the um, birds uh, so the is the same body that we are very proud you know it becomes uh, uh, ashes or uh, food for the um, insects or the birds so uh, actually the real person you know body is the soul and this body has value as long as the soul is uh, uh, present in this body uh, in this regard i remember uh, something which happened in my life uh, that uh, once uh, uh, our uh, director um, of our company uh, he went to <laughs> america so at that time his wife and all of us uh, we went to the airport uh, then uh, we garlanded him and uh, with big fanfare he went to america after some time we came to know that uh, uh, he he died uh, uh, in the america so they wanted to bring him uh, back uh, the body uh, to india so while going he was uh, traveling in the first class uh, very great um, 
honor is accorded to him and all that. But when he died and that body came back as a cargo, because uh, uh, he, he cannot, that body cannot travel in the first class you know, compartment. So, it was uh, coming in the, so uh, if the soul is present in the body, you can enjoy and we can do all these things. But when the soul uh, is absent uh, in this body, the same body becomes a cargo. So, no value. So, uh, <coughs> we have to be uh, careful, you know. So, what is uh, our uh, um, preference? What is, uh, you know, our priority in our life? The body or the soul? So, the soul, yeah, by considering all these examples, the soul is more valuable than this body, which is just consisting of uh, chemicals. Another example I give that uh, there are uh, many beautiful uh, actresses and many people they claim that uh, I am fan of this actress and fan of that actress and all that. Suppose the same beautiful actress if she dies, would any fan like to uh, bring that body and keep it? Uh, then uh, many, many times I ask this question and everybody says, no, no, why do you want, why do you want to keep? I tell, because uh, she is very beautiful, na? no, she was, but now no longer. Because then I ask this question, uh, so the soul is beautiful or the body is beautiful? So the reply comes, the soul is beautiful, because as long as soul in the, is in the present of that beautiful woman, that beautiful woman, that body looks beautiful. But as soon as the soul leaves the body, the same body uh, who, who's bo uh, who is uh, actually considered very, very beautiful, you know, starts decomposing, starts smelling very bad and uh, it uh, gets rot, rotten and then unbearable it becomes, same beautiful body. We do not want to keep that body. So, uh, the mystery remains. So, the soul is beautiful or the body is beautiful. So, it, we, we can, uh, you know, uh, safely conclude that the soul is uh, beautiful and the soul is uh, more valuable. Hmm. So, there is one uh, very uh, famous scientist, uh, Dr. Miller. Uh, he was actually researching uh, about the uh, source of life and what is life and uh, they are, they have this uh, firm faith that uh, life is just a mixture of chemicals. So, uh, he uh, claimed that uh, he mixed some chemicals and all and then uh, he uh, some amino acids have formed and then it is moving and they have claimed very proudly that uh, <coughs> they have created life in the laboratory by mixing of chemicals. So, he was giving a seminar in Irvine University uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, one of our devotees, uh, His Holiness Bhakti Suru Damodar Maharaj, at the time he was a research student in Irvine University in organic chemistry. He was attending the uh, seminar talk given by Dr. Miller. He uh, then uh, um, Dr. Singh, he is known as Dr. Thodam Singh at the time. He asked this question to Dr. Miller that I will give you all the required chemicals uh, present uh, in the body. Uh, can you produce life uh, in the laboratory? Oh, it is a philosophical question uh, like that. He, uh, he could not answer. So, if, he, if it is a fact that uh, they have produced life in the laboratory uh, by uh, uh, mixing of chemicals, uh, they should uh, uh, actually find out when the person dies, uh, which chemical is missing in that uh, uh, body and they should inject that chemical uh, into the body and bring him back to the life. But it could not happen because life is not just a mixture of chemicals. There is one very famous uh, uh, atheist, Dr. Kovur. He was always challenging that God is not there, uh, soul is not there. Uh, it's all uh, under vishwas. It is blind faith and all that. So our devotees have challenged him that uh, if you if you produce uh, uh, life by mixing chemicals, uh, we will give you hundred thousand dollars as a gift. Then they have uh, <coughs> uh, ca called him uh, to a public uh, place in one in one uh, uh, auditorium in the Bangalore, and uh, they challenged him 
that you come and in front of us produce life by mixing chemicals and that poor fellow he never turned up because it was never proven that uh, they could produce life by mixing chemicals. So, uh, we have to uh, that is why Shla Prabhupada said ok uh, you cannot produce uh, li uh, a person a human being at least you produce a, a mosquito by mixing chemicals. Uh, he, uh, that was a challenge by Shla Prabhupada to the scientists. What to speak of a mosquito? Uh, Shla Prabhupada joked that uh, now what is there in the egg? You know what our chemicals that are there in the egg? They can uh, um, actually um, come by. You know they mix uh, in a cup and let the scientists sit on that uh, chemicals uh, you know, so that a chicken will be born. He joked, <laughs> which uh, they could, they can never do that. So, it is only a, even though uh, they the modern people they say that uh, the Bhagavad Gita and uh, other scriptures uh, they are based on blind faith, uh, they just make statements, but uh, scientists also are making same kind of statements that life is a mixture of chemicals uh, all this stuff, but actually they can never prove that if it is a life is just a mixture of chemicals, uh, why they are not able, unable to produce life, you know, why they are unable to uh, make a man uh, who can uh, um, uh, be, uh, make all perfect decisions and perfect uh, bodily proportion and all that. Because uh, uh, we take birth, we get a body, the soul is covered by a body according to previous karma. So, uh, if it is a mixture, if it is just a mixture of chemicals, they can mix a chemicals and um, produce uh, life. Uh, like uh, that is why Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, that atachainam nitya jatam nityam va manyate mrutam you know, tatapitvam mahabaho natvam shochitam arhasi. Krishna says, even if you think that, uh, suppose even if you do not believe in the presence of the soul, even if you think that uh, this life uh, is just matter, uh, material elements, consisting of material elements, you should not grieve. Because, uh, Srila Prabhupada gave this example that uh, in the ordinary course of life, in the science laboratories and all uh, every day uh, thousands of thousands of tons of chemicals are burnt uh, in the war also thousands and thousands of chemicals are burnt in the form of uh, atom bomb and all the other so many other uh, uh, bombs and all that um, at that time we don't cry but even if one person uh, cries uh, dies we cry you know so that's why Claude krishna says that uh, whether you believe in the presence of the soul or whether you believe life is just a mixture of chemicals, one should not cry because uh, uh, energy is uh, you know never gets destroyed. So, either way, so th if these chemicals that are present in this body get destroyed, they are present anyway. So, why we should cry, but actually it is not as simple as that because uh, we value life and that life is the comes from the soul. So, that is why Srila Prabhupada <coughs> emphatically declared that life comes from life, life never comes from matter, uh, matter is always dead and matter becomes alive by the presence of the soul and this body becomes uh, alive by the uh, presence of the soul. That is why Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that uh, in the body, uh, body is very important uh, of course but the soul is more important. Uh, so, the nature of the soul that Krishna explained that na jayate mriyate va kadachin nayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuyaha ajo nityaha shashvatoyam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire. So, uh, what is the uh, uh, nature of the soul? The soul nature is, it is never takes birth na jayate. So, that is why it has no birth. So, our body has a date of birth and date of death, but the soul has no date of birth, no date of death that is why. So, uh, and then it is never come into being and it will not come into being. Ajaha means unborn, Nityaha means eternal, you know, Purana means oldest, Shashwata means permanent and the happiest news in this is that when the, when the body dies, the soul never dies. So, the soul is uh, eternal, Amrit. 
So, we should not lament when somebody dies because the soul never dies and the body anyway uh, is supposed to die. Jatasya hi dhruvam rutyuhu, dhruvam janma mritasya cha, tasmada parihari erte natvam shochitum arahasi. So, this body has to die. Uh, there is nobody can uh, save this body uh, for a very, very long time. But the soul, nobody can destroy. Even the atom bomb also uh, falls. The soul cannot be destroyed because the soul is not a material element, you know, because this material element, material elements only they have uh, quality of destruction, but the, the spirit, spiritual element, the soul has no uh, destruction because it is eternal Amrita. So, uh, we should, when one understands this uh, science of the soul, lamentation over about death of a person also goes away because the soul never dies. So, the soul goes into uh, from one body to another body. That is why Lord Krishna is telling Arjuna that because the Bhagavad Gita Arjuna was lamenting that I have to kill Bhishma Dev, I have to kill Dronacharya, I have to kill Krupacharya and all these great uh, personalities. But Krishna is saying you should be very happy because uh, the, they have already become old and the, the soul has no death and this body has become very troublesome for them. So, you should uh, uh, rejoice because the soul will get uh, will go to another young uh, childhood body and then again that enjoyment starts. So, instead of suffering in this old body, uh, the soul goes into another body and gets another term of life and where you can enjoy and uh, more or whatever. So, one should uh, uh, be happy uh, about the, you know, so the sounds, uh, science of the soul uh, relieves us from the fear of death. Hare Krishna. Who get time? Hare Krishna. Huh? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.